Hey all, it's Mike Bader with Remax of Boulder. Hey, if you own mountain property or you as a realtor help people buy or sell mountain property, I can't stress enough that you need to mitigate that property properly so that this doesn't happen to your home. Please take a moment to watch the following video which will show you the exact steps that you need to take to get your Wildfire Partner Program certification. Take a moment. Thank you. Hi, gang. I'm Lisa Wade with Remax of Boulder. And I'm Matt Ladwig with WK Real Estate. We're here today to tell you a little bit about the Wildfire Partner Program in Boulder County and why it's important. It's a fantastic program that not only benefits buyers, sellers, but also longtime mountain residents. We're also going to meet up with Brett, who is a Wildfire Partner Consultant, as he talks with a homeowner about what they went through to get their Wildfire Partner certification. You know, Matt, as realtors, oftentimes we're the first line of education for both buyers and sellers. When it comes to living in the mountains, when you're working with a buyer, what do you like to tell them? You know, it's always good to get an idea of where they are coming from. If they've never lived in an area that is fire prone, mm -hmm. a lot of times there can be some big surprises. Mm -hmm. Typically, as soon as we get to the home, uh, we'll walk around the inside and then uh, do a tour around the outside. Yeah. Well, as we're going around the outside, I will kind of pick out different items that might be of concern. I'm not the expert here, but fortunately we have the fantastic tools that we do, such as wildfire partners, they can help us with this. So you could even suggest to someone that if a wildfire partner certification hasn't been done, that maybe they request one. Absolutely, absolutely. I think that's very reasonable and uh, a lot of sellers would be willing to work with them on that, I'd hope. Um, when I'm working with sellers and I go to a listing presentation, I often ask if they've been certified yet or not. And if they don't know about the program, I tell them about the program. Because you can point out some real simple things that can be done, even the homeowner can do that can make their property much more defendable in the case of a wildfire. And if they go through the program and get that certification and have that little stake in their yard that says that they've been wildfire partner certified, that makes that property all the more sellable. That's right, that's right. Not only is it more sellable, but it's also much easier for firefighters to handle in the case of an emergency. The firefighter sees that sign, they know this property is defendable yeah. and they'll make every effort to do it. Absolutely. Right. Well, let's talk a little bit about the process. Okay, sounds good. As soon as you're ready for your assessment, give the wildfire partners a call and they will send out a mitigation specialist to walk around your property and decide what needs to be done. They will sit down with the homeowner and go through the report of all the items that are of concern. You know, I think a lot of people are worried that if they call them and have an assessment done that they're going to be required to clear cut around their property when we live in the mountains for the beauty of it and they know they don't want to do that. But that's not the case, is it? Not at all. It is a reasonable fear, but wildfire Partners is very willing to work with people on what needs to be done and what can be traded for other items. Okay, well let's take a look at some of those things. Sounds good. Okay Matt, so as you were saying, once the assessment is done, Wildfire Partners will sit down with the homeowner and create a list of things that are required and things that are recommended, but I know they'll work with you. So in a case like this, we're standing around these beautiful pine trees which the homeowner was recommended to be taken down. And of course he didn't want to do that. So then what happened? Well, fortunately they were willing to work with him and they said, if you cut some branches up on this tree, which he's already done, as well as the surrounding trees, and then take another step and which he has not completed yet, but enclose the deck and then also add screening to vents up on the top of the house, they would still be willing to certify the property. So you can sort of take one thing for another as long as it ends up making the home more defendable. Correct. And that's why they come out and do an individual assessment on every single property. Every property is different. That's right. Yep. Well, those seem like simple fixes. So what else was recommended for this particular homeowner? It was also recommended that they remove some wood, some general debris, and combustible items that were placed against the base of the home. Well, that makes sense. We don't want to add fuel to that fire. Absolutely not. Fortunately, these are all items that if the homeowner chose, they could definitely remove themselves. Sure. Other items, if the homeowner is unable to do, then the program can suggest different contractors that are approved for such work. So they can kind of help the homeowner make those connections. Absolutely. And get that work done. Correct. That's great.
So now let's take a look at some footage of Brett from Wildfire Partners working with a homeowner who actually completed the items to get their certification. Hi, my name is Brett Haverstick. I'm a consultant with Wildfire Partners here in Boulder County, Colorado. And today I'm with Colin. Colin is a certified uh, homeowner in the Wildfire Partners program. Um, so Colin, what, what got you interested in Wildfire Partners? Why did you join Wildfire Partners? I would say we, we originally joined Wildfire Partners just because um, we weren't fully aware of mitigation and what it entailed and what it meant and um, the work behind it and, and, and the proper way to actually have a, a safe home. Fire mitigation is it's a real thing and it's, it's very important for the entire neighborhood, not just yourself and your own home, um, but it's important for the neighborhood and your family. Yep. And uh, that's why we joined and that's kind of yeah. where we started. What would you say are some of the benefits of the program that you've experienced? I'd say probably one of the higher benefits for our family would be um, just peace of mind. Um, what we've learned is, is, is fire mitigation, it's, it's a maintenance thing and it's ongoing. We learn we can really enjoy ourselves away from our home if we have our family and our dogs and we know down in the bottom of our hearts that we've done our best for our neighbors and for ourselves yeah. uh, to properly mitigate our house. So Rudy, uh, can you tell me what you did in this area? Sure. So when we first moved here, uh, we had a lot of overgrown areas. Mm -hmm. Um, and so one of the concerns I had was I wasn't sure if mitigation meant cutting down a lot of trees. Yep. Um, and I wanted to protect as many trees as possible on our property. Um, but we learned that you can actually have a lot of trees close to the house. Aspens, for example, were one of the trees that we could save. Yep. Um, and so as you'll notice over um, by the deck, you'll see a lot of aspens. But what we've done is we've um, limbed them up and created space in between them. We've taken trees out that um, kind of crowded the aspen and we just created a lot of open space yep. in our yard. Um, we also pulled up a lot of the juniper that was there on the ground. That's really good. And uh, one of the benefits of pulling up all the juniper was we were able to create more open space in our backyard. Yep. And a lot of the wildflowers have come up um, yep. every season now, and we've got more wildlife coming through. When we uh, first moved into the house, we actually had our firewood uh, stack underneath the deck. Ah. which is where the previous owners put it. Ah, right. But when we went through the Wildfire Partners program, we learned that it needed to be a safe distance away from the house, right. about 30 feet away. Yep. And so we moved the log pile over here and Good. had it here for the last couple of years. You know, what, from this angle, it, you know, one of the really nice things you get to see is the, the all the mitigation you did in the forested area by, by removing the ground junipers, really kind of clearing out the base of trees and then you know, thinning as you did. And what's nice is that it really has a stepwise fashion that you have the forested area, then you get into the open area with the grasses. Um, and then as you get closer to the house, there's, there's less vegetation. And as you get cl even closer, there's no vegetation. And that really um, controls the fire dynamic uh, well in that it really limits the impact of a fire that a fire can have on your, on your house. So one of the questions I get often when I do an assessment or working with new homeowners uh, or people even are selling their homes is the question about the transferability of the certificate that Wildfire Partners gives to certified homeowners. And the, the, the short answer is yes, it is transferable. But one of the real values of the Wildfire Partners assessments is really the, the time that uh, we spend on, a, on the homeowner's property talking about risks related to their home. And so for a new homeowner, we would really suggest that you have us back out and that we, re we kind of go over what the assessment was, talk about fire risks, as well talk about anything that we might be able to enhance uh, from what was done in terms of the mitigation uh, previously. It's such a great example of what mitigation can look like on a property in the mountains of Boulder, Colorado. It, it really is great. Thank you for doing everything you've done. I know you guys put in a lot of work for it and it looks fabulous. It's our pleasure, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's just wrap this whole thing up. What do you think, Matt, is the best thing for our borrow members to do now? You know, I think the absolute best thing is if you are an agent that works in the mountain area, highly recommend you checking out the Wildfire Partners Program website and just giving a little bit of info. They can check the BAR website as well to see if there's classes upcoming. Absolutely. So I agree that if whether you're working with a buyer or a seller, it's important to know the hazards of living in the mountains with wildfire and what can be done to mitigate it. It makes every property more valuable, more sellable, and makes everybody, you know, happy campers. <laughs>